will learn how to run the simulation in 3D Studio Max, but you can run this kind of simulations in any major 3D animation software. After importing FBX animation into 3D Studio Max, go to Display tab and hide all bones. Go to last frame and import 3D model of a lamp. You can download it for free from Sketchfab. Place the lantern near the left hand. Let's make it bigger. Let's place the lantern even closer to the hand. Then make a group. Click the Create tab. Let's make a simple sketch of the lantern to easily calculate the simulation. The tube will serve as the inside of the hand. Torus will take on the role of the handle. Corn will correspond to the lantern. We can hide the original lantern mesh and the hand for now. Let's show the bones. Select all three objects. Here I link them to the hand bone, but you'd better link them to one of the finger bones. You'll see why towards the end of this tutorial. Let's go to the beginning of the animation. Select the tube and set it as a kinetic object. Select the torus and set it as a dynamic object. Set the cone also as a dynamic object. Torus must be concave. Click Generate. If that doesn't work, improve fitting and generate again. The tube also needs to be concave. Let the cone stay convex. Now let's change pivot point of the torus. Go to the Hierarchy tab. Turn on the Effect Pivot Only option. Adjust pivot rotation and translation to the place where the lantern should swing back and forth. Exit effect pivot only. Now select both the torus and the cone and apply a hinge constraint. While applying we can adjust the icon size of the hinge constraint. Let's rotate the constraint so that the direction of swing is perpendicular to the handle. Select both the torus and the cone and unlink them from the hand bone. Let's start the simulation. Our lamp has fallen. Let's open Mass FX tools. We need to increase the number of sub-steps. Let's try again. Better but not good enough. Looks like the lantern is made of paper. Let's make the objects heavier. Maybe like concrete. Let's simulate again. It still looks very lightweight. Let's change gravity. Yes, this is much better. Let's bake the animation. Let's show the original lantern.
add one frame to the animation. On the last frame, select Torus and activate Auto key. Then reset its rotation values. Do the same with the cone. Place cone and torus to the correct position in the left view. Do the same in the front view. Let's apply the texture to the lantern. We can ungroup it. Now on the Modify tab, choose Selection by Element. Select the handle and detach it from the lantern. Give it a suitable name. Select Lantern and name it 2. Let's exit Selection by Element. Link the handle to the torus. And the lantern to the cone. Let's also link these two objects to the lantern. The animation looks OK, but I should have linked the tube to one of the fingers. You can notice some penetrations of fingers if you watch frame by frame. Sorry, I won't fix it because I've already recorded and made some additions to the tutorial. Now let's select the handle and the lantern and export animation as Alembic. Here we no longer need this extra frame. Here is what it looks like in Unreal Engine. We bring it here the same way we brought the clothes.